What's up out there? <clears throat> How y'all doing today? Hope everything is well. It's Ezra coming to you live in effect direct from Palm Beach, Florida. <clears throat> welcome, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another episode, Easy on Raw TV, where I talk about health issues and <clears throat> many other things as well. So today, I'm going to be talking about quantum eating. <clears throat> what does it mean to be eating quantumly? <clears throat> if we want to be in tune with our bodies, we need to get in harmony with the cycles, with the rhythms of <clears throat> nature, of mother nature, right? <clears throat> when we look at quantum physics and <clears throat> basic biology, we can find that our bodies, our bodies, <clears throat> Have innate have an innate intelligence. We're all interconnected with the, you know, intelligence of the universe. Our body's biorhythm, our circadian rhythm, all has to do with the moon phases, with sunning and mooning. There's another video I did, sunning and mooning, mooning. Um, check that video out, or I'll put put the link up. So quantum eating, what has it done for me? What has it brought me to along with 801010? Well, for myself, it's the ultimate experience. If you want amazing levels of health, <clears throat> you need to start eating quantumly, right? Going to bed when the sun gets, goes down is important. Now in Florida, that's around six o'clock, 6.30, so I'm in bed by seven. And waking up when the sun comes up around 6 6 30. now <clears throat> the, the best time to eat is when our body's digestive capacity is most ready and that's about two or three hours after the sun comes up now that's when I start either getting coconut water or green juice in and I'm eating between 9.30 and 3. And I've been doing this for quite a while now. And it's led me to higher levels of energy, <clears throat> greater absorption and utilization of nutrients, and much more. So I think that the quantum eating is important if you are doing um, 80-10-10 and it's not working and you want to bring it to the next level. <clears throat> Check out my other videos. I talk about making superfood smoothies using chia hemp and flax. Adding those things are important. And I stop eating around 3.30. Now, the key for this to work is to really make sure you're eating enough. So, as long as I eat enough between those times, 9.30 and 3, 3.30, sometimes I am finish eating by 4 at the latest. Um, you know, and the sun's down in a few hours, the sun's down and I'm ready to go to bed. I wake up with an um, empty stomach and get my first fruit meal in. I feel great. So making sure you're eating enough. Um, if you want to do the quantum eating, um, which has brought me to um, lo lower levels of body fat, I feel better. I can withstand um, the sun more. And I just feel better overall, you know. Obviously, when it's cold, I have to wear a hat and put a jacket on or a sweater. And yeah, so read Quantum Eating. It's a great book, along with 801010, is the ultimate way towards higher levels of health, right? Better mental clarity, <clears throat> better absorption. Um, if you're trying to, you know, get to your natural body weight and to maintain that, it's easy too. So, yeah, I've been doing it for a little while. If you see in my some of my previous videos, um, my body fat has come down naturally. Naturally. That means I haven't had to skimp myself. I just eat between these hours and, yeah, make sure I'm eating... Um, high water content fruit and then a, and then a sweet 
and dense fruit. So that's important. Um, you have to play around with it, get comfortable with it. I wanted to share that and I hope maybe it helps some people who you know, can't exercise like myself at the moment so much because I'm dealing with a health issue. Um, I think it could work from anywhere, from if you're working um, in an office or whatever. Shouldn't be a problem. Try and get organic. Try and get good quality. Um, I also make sure I have green juice um, every day or every other day. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.